We're all about the archers. I'm Philippa. I'm Katie. I'm Lauren. And I'm Quentin. And we are here to talk to you all about what's happened in the archers so far this week. We will be covering the episodes on Sunday the 21st of April, Monday the 22nd and Tuesday the 23rd of April. You have been warned there will be spoilers. So, am I pointing a lot? What did we think of the week so far? What did you think about tonight's episode? Katie, I'm coming to you first. I really like Harrison and Henry together. That's my mm. first little thing. I think they're proper sweet for each other and I think they're going to help each other quite a lot. So, yeah, I was I was liking that little bromance that's, that's growing. I was a little bit concerned at first because I thought... Henry was sounding a little bit George when he was kind of, I don't want Helen around, don't want Fallon around. He was being very negative and I was a bit, where's this going? But yeah. Well, well who wants, who wants Helen around anyway? <laughs> not even oh, this own, is true. Not even her own son. <laughs> I don't know if it's being used as a sort of device to show how good Harrison is with mm. children and isn't it a shame that Fallon doesn't want children? And I think, oh, just that's done for me. So I feel like... I want to love them together. I do, Katie. But I'm concerned that this is where this is going. It's another evidence of how good Harrison is with children. He bought that wonderful doll's house. Isn't he good at playing cricket, et cetera, et cetera? You see, I like that. Very I like true. that because I, I, I think um, that is a problem for Fallon. However she dresses Ooh. it up, I think deep down she knows Harrison wants children. And he's clearly would be a great dad. Be lovely. He's lovely. He was absolutely lovely with Henry. I thought those were lovely scenes. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I know some people say, uh, you know, you shouldn't, every couple in Amber shouldn't be forced to have kids, but they shouldn't. But equally, as a character, Harrison is pretending he doesn't, he's, hap he's, he's happy with not having kids. I don't think he is. But Off topic, have... but I was Sorry. having a think today about how many sets of twins there are in the Archers, which is... Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, there's three sets of twins that I know of in the Archers, which is quite a lot for a small community, isn't it? There's not yeah. normally that many sets of twins. Yeah. Un no, we're, un we're normally very related. We're, we're normally very rare, speaking as a twin. Oh, are you a twin? Identical. Wow. Oh, that's so exciting. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Well, there we go. There you I go. love it. I just think a little, little tidbit for us. Yes. Going back to that sort of Harrison and children storyline, though, it... It will annoy me if that happens because they have had the discussions and it would just be nice if they could show that, yes, you know, that yeah. maybe Harrison is quite paternal and, and he's got some skills with kids, but that doesn't mean he has to have children. I just, it would be refreshing to see that. And we've had a lot of H's as well with Harrison, Henry, Helen and Harry. I was like, <laughs> who else is going to come along yeah. Oh. His name begins with H. It's H week, I thought. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, going back to your point, Philip, that's, H a, that, from that, step. That, that's a problem, Philip, because you can't, Harrison can't pretend he doesn't want to be a father. I mean, I think actually it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good source of drama because I think that's, it's going to keep bubbling up. I do. So I think as, as a dramatic element of the arches, it's going to be fairly constant because I don't <laughs> think he, he I, I think he's, he's for the sake of, Fallon, he's saying, OK, I don't want kids, but deep down yeah, he does. Yeah, I thought that was what had been decided, that he was mm. so in love with Fallon that he would forego mm. his want of children mm. in all, like to stay with Fallon. So in my head, mm. if, that, if I was Fallon, I'd be like, right, well, that's sorted then. I'm yeah, really fit. But, He'd rather have me than kids. But, she, but she's not, <laughs> yeah, deep down, done. she's not comfortable with it. She, she, mm. she knows it's not settled. No, mm. it's not, but yeah. Yeah. Mm, it would be serious, nice if they could use. Ah! I know. It'd be <laughs> nice if they could build this whole thing though with Henry and Harrison just helping each other. Oh, so yeah, that's lovely. Harrison kind of has yeah. a little kid that he can yeah. play with, play with, and yeah. uh, work together on the cricket I, and be together. Yeah. And then Henry yeah. has a great little role model. Which I, I thought there really were two nice. great scenes tonight. I thought Henry and Harrison were lovely, and I also thought the scene between Alistair and Ed was fantastic. <laughs> that, was really well, that was really well played. It's just how I. I a guy will wind up another guy, yeah. and he's, you know, he's really touched a nerve there. And um, no, it's nicely played, and of course, spilling the beans in front of Denise. I mean, whoa! Yes. I think it's quite a pivotal episode tonight in terms of future storyline development. Yeah, yeah. Do you mean drama. double standards, Denise? Yes. 
Yes. I, yes, I, yes, I didn't yes. Know, I don't know a bra size, but if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just... <laughs> I'm so du- like I I was never that invested in Alistair and Denise in the first place and the will Alistair. they won't they Alistair and the will they won't they and just hearing her this week just sort of giving the old excuses for old oh, John doesn't really want to talk about it and this and I think get, yeah have a smooch with Laura get this over and done with yeah, yeah just I mean they're making yeah, it out I, like they a... they they are making out like they are, you know, they, they've they been so in love. But what time have they actually spent together apart from over sleeping mm. anaesthetised animals that it turns out loathe Alistair and run from him? I mean, there's not been any <laughs> actual proper time mm. together. So, yeah, Alistair is the most boring person in Ambridge, I think. Closely followed, mm-hmm. hot on the heels by Denise, who just, yeah, I, I wrote ha 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 in big letters in my green pen tonight oh, when Ed was brutal. going on about it. Can I, can I just read out this tweet from Angela Dobb, which I think was just spot on. She says, Denise, listen up. Alistair is not an international man of mystery or playboy of the Western world, but he is kind, he loves animals, he's empathetic, patient and professional, and he has the hots for you. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> so come on, girl. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I think, uh, yeah. but talking of hot, I mean, Laura's hot. Oof, I'm telling you, sexy. Yeah, I got a sexy vibe from her. I got a sexy yeah, vibe very. from her. Oh yes. I'm very forthright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, you know, Alistair wouldn't stand a chance oh, with God. her. She's, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she goes good for one, Laura, isn't it? Woof. Good for Laura. Okay, yeah. phase and flops. What haven't we covered, Katie? What are your phase? What are your flops? I'm loving the fact that Harrison is saying A up more and more. He seems to be getting more northern <laughs> or Midlander. Well, he's come brilliant. south. We're getting he's more A ups. Oh, A ups. It's he's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A up, up. Great. <laughs> Very happy with that. So that was a fave. Um, the flop was the fact that Ed seems to have just realised that tree surgery is dangerous. <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Like climbing trees with chainsaws, yes. It's, it's not going to be an easy walk in the park, is it? <laughs> going home and Googling your new job plus the word deaths. I mean, yes. you're having second thoughts, aren't you, if you're going home to do that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, does not work, I'm afraid. Well, one of my faves was probably one of your faves, um, Philippa, and it was hearing Henry say, can I just finish my chapter? Yes! Oh, exactly. He's loved my star it. of the week for that. Yeah. Loved hearing it. Um, I also loved Ed deciding to go for popping the lamb in a plaster cast <laughs> rather than that was another fave of mine. Uh, and instead 50 of quid. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm. <laughs> to pop his lamb. <laughs> he just said, "We've just lost so many lambs. I can't bear to see another one go." I thought, lovely. Ed, I'm starting to fancy Ed. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few things he's done this week, and I think, uh oh, you're you're next. Um, in terms of flops, I'm fed up with this. Will they? Won't they? Between Alistair and Denise, and also Harry and Alice. Oh no, I'm I'm very worried for Alice. Mm. She's just I feel like someone's going to get really hurt. Mm. Something else that isn't a flop but got me thinking was about whether or not Harry is a lost cause because I remember like. Alice saying, at least you're not in denial. You've recognised there's a problem. And when Alice went to rehab, she was in denial and she absolutely didn't think there was a problem and she did recover. So that did make me look at it a little bit differently that maybe he, is, he isn't a lost cause, but yeah. Mm. Those are my faves and flops. Excellent Ooh. stuff. Thank you. Quentin, what about you? Um, well, I mean, uh, Laura is a fave of mine straight off, but um, I particularly like the continuity announcer off the back of that episode saying, uh, well, Alistair's in demand, isn't he? So that was one of my <laughs> fave moments. Um, joy turning up. Lovely. Love, love a bit of joy. Um, yeah. Flops well, Helen every time she opens her mouth. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. she Remember pre- your New Year's resolution. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll stop that. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> I've forgotten that. Um I mean, she she criticises Henry's attempts at cooking. I thought, oh, come on. But she actually complimented mm. his Thai green curry. Food reference there, Philippa. Oh. Um, but, yeah, oh, Helen. But um, flop. Oh, God, Alice and Harry. Oh. Well, I, I mean, the, the fact they had sex. I mean, then, you know, 
wasn't so much a flop for Harry, but it was a flop for us, wasn't it? And um, when he was looking for those socks, how oh, did my yeah. socks get over there? Oh, yeah. I thought, oh, how did your know. socks get over there? Um, so I the fact she invited him was a deliberately. flop. Deliberately. Um, so that was terrible. But I, I thought the, the I've got here. I thought it was a poignant scene between Alice and Harry when she was telling him the trick is not to drink today, one day at a time is all you have to do. And I thought, yeah, this, it was a very strong scene that. And the next scene, he's picking up his sock. I'm going, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so, um, so those are my faves and flops. Philippa, go. Fave. Oh, well, I love the celebration or the chat between Henry and Harrison about the joy of unremarkable days or about unremarkable days. And I thought that was nice to hear. Mm. Food, yes. OK, on my list, I have Sunday roast, sausage rolls, Thai green curry, chickpeas, I love chickpeas, uh, meat-free Mondays, so pizza, and shepherd's pie. I've got something else. <gasps> what did I miss? Veggie chili. Veggie chili. Oh, oh! oh every week I miss something. In the something. bottom of Henry's bag for two for two days. Yes. Oh yes, yes. 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 But speaking of um, yes. uh, shepherd's pie and sausage rolls and Sunday roast m meat-based products. Just to throw in that this Saturday there will be the interview with Mr. Abattoir himself, yeah. Vince Casey, to listen to and to watch. So, yes, what a that's link. recorded. Great link. Seamless, eh? Seamless. <laughs> um, so, that's another fave of mine this week. That'll be there on Saturday. Flops. Harry, so manipulative, I thought. I love Martha, he said. You are in no position to say that. And he said, I mm, genuinely mm. had no intention of coming in. When someone says the word genuinely, mm. that means they absolutely did. They're just saying that to cover it. He's <laughs> manipulating Alice so much and she's so hell bent on fixing him. And I don't think he, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to, he's going to be fixed. Mm. I fear very much. And she was clearly heartbroken. To begin with, I thought, has he... Has he actually forced himself on her? But I listened back and she said, well, I kissed you first. But I just thought, oh, I'd, I wasn't... It's brilliantly acted, but yeah, didn't like it all. Yeah. And I'm worried that Ed is using £150 from the tree money to have this <laughs> cast on the on the lamb. And I am concerned about mm. that. Uh, yeah, and Helen just needs to calm down about Henry. Henry's brilliant and Helen... Isn't. Oh, he's been fantastic. There we go. There we go. Um, I did. I did think of you, Philippa, when um, Henry said, "I'm rubbish at cricket." I'm rubbish at cricket. At one point, I threw the bat at the ball. <laughs> and I thought if Philippa ever entered a sporting arena, <clears throat> particularly a cricket one, that's how Philippa would play a fine, magnificent, majestic game of cricket. Yeah. <laughs> my husband always recounts the squash game I had with him, where I caught the squash ball in my hand and then left. So yes, <laughs> you, you could be. What? You could be correct. <laughs> You. you could be correct. OK, <laughs> star of the week. I have told you my star of the week. Henry reading his book. Absolutely wonderful. Katie, who's your star of the week and why? I've got Harrison. I just, mm. I did really like Harrison this week. Mm. Yeah, that's fair enough. Lauren, what about you? I've gone for Ed for saving the lamb, but also because I'm starting to fancy him. So there we go. That's what my, my star of the week has become a vessel for me to fancy people. So <laughs> sort of like... Top bod or whatever. Fantastic. <laughs> Quentin, what about you? Well, I instantly fancied Laura, so I'll go with the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Laura. That's just what it's becoming. Laura. But <laughs> established characters, it would be Harrison. I thought Harrison was, was absolutely lovely mm -hmm. this week so far with Henry. Very yeah. good. Thank you. And we come on to predictions. Katie, have you got a prediction for us? Um, I have got that Alistair, who is the stud of Ambridge, gets with Laura <laughs> and not Denise. So, <laughs> oh. ends up going off with Laura because he gives up with Denise because there are so many mixed messages. And also on the side of that, when she said she'd gone to speak to John and said, we need to talk because I've not been happy for a long time. And then she said, <laughs> I don't know if John realises that there's a problem. <laughs> I think he probably does. But he just wants to meet up with his friend kind Steve. Of obvious. <laughs> Bless yeah, he to go out, play, but it's fine. He just likes to go along yeah. bike rides, doesn't this he? Is yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I've got a prediction similar to that in that I predict that Alice will decide she doesn't want it with her, Harry anymore. She'll 
decide to start fancying Alistair. I think Fallon's going to leave Harrison, start fancying Alistair. I think Helen, probably start fancying Alistair. Emma, leave Ed, start fancying Alistair. Hannah, not bothered about Chris anymore, start fancying Alistair. Everyone's up for him. Lucky what? Alistair. Great. <laughs> wow. wow. Quentin, what okay. about you? Um, my prediction is that actually Henry will eventually really take to cricket and eventually become the star player for Ambridge. Oh, oh that's very good. Like it. That's a long one, that is. So we'll have to come back to that in about five years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Write the date down and we'll look yeah. back. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I think that Martha's going to tell Chris, who read her a bedtime story, and he is going to lose his mind over that. And I don't th believe Ooh. Harry's going to rehab. I don't believe anything Harry says these days. So, um, yeah, mm. that, that's my prediction. Um, but before we go, we've already mentioned the interview with Vince on Saturday. Please subscribe on YouTube. We'd love it so that you get notification of when more videos come along. And we must mention our merch. Our merchandise is now available. There is a link in the show notes for you to click on to access the merch. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see uh, Katie and I have got the latest ones. There's all sorts. Fashions. There's, there's mugs there's notepads there's t-shirts there's hoodies in a range of designs like what are your faves and flops uh, who's your star of the week we're all about the archers all sorts of things and all sorts of colors and sizes sorry just had to mention that's all very exciting absolutely but that's it. we'll be back on saturday with the interview until then it's a goodbye from me Ta from me goodbye from me and bye-bye from me goodbye bye. everyone bye